when we talk about the disease process referred to as scoliosis, we're really talking about much more than just a spinal curvature on x-ray. If I were to walk out here into my local community right now and ask 100 people what scoliosis is, 100 out of 100 of them would tell me that scoliosis is a spinal curvature on an x-ray. And they're not necessarily wrong, but it's not the entire picture. They don't have the entire truth. The truth is, scoliosis involves many other body systems and not just involving the spine and musculoskeletal system. Scoliosis is a condition that has multiple neurological issues, multiple hormone issues, multiple gastrointestinal issues, multiple neurotransmitter issues, multiple digestive issues, and multiple bone density and uh, neurochemistry issues. Furthermore, there are different micronutrient deficiencies that most kids with scoliosis display that kids who don't have scoliosis don't display. So really it's safe to say that the idea of scoliosis is that it involves far more than just a spinal curvature. In fact, one of the sayings that we use here in the office very frequently is that you, a person doesn't have scoliosis because of the curvature they see on x-ray. They have the curvature they see on x-ray because they have scoliosis. And it's really no different than saying, this patient has low progesterone because she has scoliosis. Those are one and the same thing. Low progesterone is known to exist very frequently in patients who have idiopathic scoliosis. So again, scoliosis is not just a disease process that impacts only the spine, but one that is a multi-system structural, chemical, and hormonal disorder impacting the entire body. And if you don't treat the entire body for various disruptions and to include in a treatment plan various modalities to impact all of the various body systems, the physical treatment that you decide to use for treating the curve only is essentially doomed to fail. The reason being, all of these other hormonal, neurological, and digestive-based types of disruptions are initially what trigger the curve to happen in the first place during a period of rapid growth. And if you don't address the reason as to why that curvature is there in the first place, no amount of physically treating the curve by itself is going to have a lasting impact. It just can't. Therefore, when speaking to any provider or any physician about you or your child's scoliosis, make sure the child's treatment plan involves far more than just a physical treatment perspective. You have every right to demand that all of the body systems involved in scoliosis are dealt with effectively. If not, that child's treatment plan will simply not work. And in a nutshell, if you don't have a comprehensive treatment strategy for scoliosis, there isn't a physical treatment out there, including surgery, that has any chance to provide a permanent resolution to you or your child's curvature. At Scoli Smart, we do our level best to treat the entire condition, utilizing the latest of diagnostic testing, utilizing the latest physical treatment procedures, and even referring for some of the latest surgical techniques when necessary. So you can rest assured that if you visit a Scoli Smart clinic, you're going to be getting the single most robust type of comprehensive care imaginable for you or your child's scoliosis.